In this video, I am going to explain pulley with three masses by an example. As we can see in the figure, three blocks are connected by two light strings that pass over frictionless pulley. Block 1 with a mass of 12 kg located on an inclined plane, 32 degree above the horizontal. Block 2 with a mass of 4.5 kg located on the horizontal plane. Block 3 is 10 kg is hanging. Coefficient of kinetic friction on the inclined plane 0 0.08 on the horizontal plane 0 0.17. Question 1. Calculate the acceleration of the blocks. Question 2. Calculate the tensions in the string. Friction between the pulleys and string are negligible. Let's draw free body diagram of the system. First draw free body diagram of block 1. So this is FG1. Force of gravity acting on the block 1. So M1G1, 12 kg times 9.8 meter per second square, 117.6 newtons. So we find the parallel and perpendicular component so parallel to the surface and perpendicular to the surface so we need to find component of fg1 this is x component fg1 x basically parallel component this is perpendicular component fg1 y so this is 32 degree 90 degrees then 58 degree so this is again 32 degree so fg1 y fg1 times cosine 32 equal 117.6 newtons times cosine 32 so we get 99.7 newtons so this is the perpendicular component of fg1 horizontal component fg1 x fg1 times sine 32 fg1 x equal 117.6 newtons times sine 32 so fg1 x equal 62.3 newton this is parallel to the surface so f normal f normal one normal force acting on the block one so just same magnitude but opposite in direction of fg1 y so 99.7 newtons okay so there is also force of friction acting on block 1 so mu k1 times fn1 mu k1008 times normal force 99.7 newtons so we get 8 newtons but we don't know the direction yet because we don't know the direction of the motion so this is the force exerted by string a to the block 1 ta1 this is the force exerted by string A to block 2. So these two forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction along the uh, string. Okay, let's draw free body diagram of block 2 and block 3. So this is force of gravity acting on block 2. M2 times G. M2 is 4.5 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second square. So force of gravity acting on block 2 will be 44.1 newtons. Direction is down. So this is normal force acting on block 2. So magnitude of normal force equal magnitude of FG2 but opposite in direction. So it will be 44.1 newtons up. This is force of friction acting on block 2, MK2 times FN2. Okay, so MK2 given 0 0.17 times 44.1 newtons. So we get 7.5 newtons, but we don't know direction yet. So this is force exerted by string B to block 2. 
this is force exerted by string B to block 3. So these two forces equal in magnitude but opposite in direction along the uh, string. So this is force of gravity acting on block 3. So M3 times G. M3 is 10 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second square. So force of gravity acting on block 2 we get 98 newtons. Direction is down. Okay, so this is the free body diagram of the system. So let's calculate the acceleration of the system. So this is the block one, FG one, and parallel component FG one X, perpendicular component FG one Y. Since FG one X and FG one Y represent FG one, so we don't need FG one. We don't use in the calculation. Okay, so F N one and FG one Y are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So they cancel each other. So we don't use these forces either. So FK1 is the parallel to the string direction. We don't know the direction yet. So we calculated FK1 by using FN1. So we need these forces at the calculation of acceleration fg1 x we need also because this is parallel to the string okay ta1 and ta2 equal in magnitude opposite in direction along the string they are basically internal forces so they cancel each other so we don't need these forces at this stage okay if we come block to then FG2 and FN2, they are also equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So they cancel each other. We don't need to use these two forces. FK2, uh, this is parallel to the string, direction of FK2, so we use it. So TB2 and TB2, 3. They are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction along the string. So they cancel each other. They are internal forces. So when we come block 3, so FG3, we need this force at the calculation of acceleration because this is parallel to the string. Okay. So if you summarize, we use we use FG1X, FK1, FK2, and FG3 at the calculation of F net. So, so F net of the system equal vector sum of FG1X, this one, plus FK1 plus FK2 so FK1 and FK2 plus FG3 this is the FG3 okay so but we don't know the direction of FK1 and FK2 those are force of frictions so these are always opposite to the direction of motion so we need to find the direction of motion so if we just ignore these two forces now so we have two forces fg1 x pulls to system this direction fg3 pulls this direction since fg3 greater than fg1 x system moves this direction so we assume direction of motion as positive because it is more convenient and easy at the calculation. So this is 
positive direction. So this is also positive direction. <coughs> so in this case, fg one x opposite direction. So this is negative, negative sixty two point three newtons. Yes, this is fg one x plus fk one will be this direction in this case, basically here. So minus eight newtons plus fk2 will be this direction minus 7.5 newtons so fg3 positive direction so 98 newtons so when we add all those numbers we get f net will be 20.2 newtons since we get positive number, so this direction, basically clockwise direction, this direction, like this. So, <coughs> clockwise direction. So, as you know, Newton's second law, acceleration equal F net divided by total mass. So, what is the total mass of the system? m1 plus m2 plus m3 so 12 kilogram 4.5 kilogram plus 10 kilogram so when we add these we get 26.5 kilogram <coughs> so in this case we calculated f net 20.2 newtons clockwise direction over 26.5 kilogram so when we divide these two number we get 0 0.76 meter per second square so direction of acceleration always same as net force okay so clockwise direction okay let's run the animation as you can see in the animation, the pulley system consisting of block 1, block 2 and block 3 move in the clockwise direction.